But look, I, I literally just I haven't had a seizure for about seven, maybe seven and a half months now. Bro, is your name Jake? Do you see his back? Are listen. you epilepsic? Yeah. Bro, I had a homeboy so I just like him named Jake went the river. But I don't think it's him though. This can't be him. But he sound he, he, he hey, sound just him. like him. Yeah, he probably he said hey, but now he sound dead like him and Jake had seizures too. That's why for a minute I was like, nah. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm feeling for for myself. I'm gonna hit him up right now. I was thinking about calling like two, three days ago. Well, this is all the stuff that I stopped, and then recently, it, well, not recently, past s about seven uh, months, I stopped drinking, somewhat of, uh, smoking weed, energy drinks, hanging out with my mom. <laughs> we get into too many. That's what did it right there. <laughs> like well, a lot of energy drinks, they'll fuck Yo, you up. Every, you them energy, yes, yes, them energy Tell drinks. We be fucking with Red Bull yeah. or those Mountain Dew energies. Which Red Bull, yeah. No, 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 no for oh, me, yeah. stop, it was, stop uh, fucking with them. No, it wasn't Red Bull. I, I will not try Red Bull. Um, it, fuck, what did you take? Five hour energy? Monster. Yes, the monsters, dude. Oh, those, two, they're dangerous. Damn Listen monster, to the fucking boy. name, fucking monster. I don't want to drink nothing. that's fucking. I ain't a lot of coffee shit's good though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Coffee shit's no. good. They the only one. Like frat base. Yeah. Like, oh, you talking they, about they, the uh, the red? I can't remember. No, uh, like mocha. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what why. triggers your seizures? And like, how often do you have them? And when did you start having them? Not to like interview you and shit, but I'm just. I I, just, I, I, don't, I don't I don't care about shit like that. I mean, like. I like that people want to know like what triggers shit like that. So when like you see somebody that goes into one, you're like, oh, this must have happened. Like it's something that you should. Yeah, know I know like flash and lights is one of them. Now it sounds. Miss Falls, I had popped a bag one time, and she just almost fainted. I was like, oh. And I, <laughs> yeah, I forgot that loud exactly. sound triggered that. Like Miss Falls to pass out every week. Every time she came back, the next like every time she came back, she would just have another seizure. And I used to be like, damn. I used to have to get the notes and everything, bro. Like, that shit was sad. And they said she don't teach no more now, right? Like, after the last seizure, she don't teach no more. That and, like, you know, they don't want them behind the wheel, too. So, like, a lot of people, yeah. are, you know, is I'm actually prone to have seizures. That's good. That's good. Congratulations. I just, I just have a problem. Uh, about... As far as what? Probably almost Driving a year night? ago now, um, mm -hmm. I got pulled over. Well, actually, I was I pulled I pulled over and well, I actually went to a fucking stop. I got out of the vehicle because I was at a fucking parking lot. Cop showed up. Was like get back in the vehicle. I was like, damn. But all I did was a burnout, so I didn't get charged by much. Uh. Only thing is, is that vehicle did not have insurance, so I have to pay $150 to be able to even get my attempts to get my license. So, yay me. Payback's a bitch. Karma. Dang. Yeah. Uh, I gotta be black, though. Look, at least you ain't getting shot. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I don't see it as that way. It's just honestly, my my opinion, it's coincidences. Like, I don't see I don't see the point of racism. Honestly, do you know what teaches us to be racist? Well, not us, but like some learning people. about the past, learning exactly. about the past, and probably the like stereotypes. Government, and shit. dude. It's the government. If the government would would st stop doing that shit, we would, dude. There would, be certain, there would not be a such thing as racism. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, like, no bu no bullshit. Like, I, w I was thinking about that, like, the school system. And, you know, right now it's actually a thing where um, like, a lot of schools are trying to testify against teaching about, um, you know, certain slave things. They want to kind of get rid of that. And I'm like, I'm putting myself in the shoes of I was a white kid and you're in the classroom and, you know, now they're going through the slavery section in history, it makes you eerie, you know, because to be honest with everything going on in the world and a black kid, you know, is starting to feel that pain that 
that people are going through now you look at white people differently and it gives you this aggression feeling towards white people and then you know white people feel like damn i'm ashamed to be white because you know what my ancestors did i can't i can't help what my ancestors did you know what i'm saying and yeah. i'm speaking on white kids that's not being taught at home you know hey if they're this color then you know they're a threat because you do have people that don't see color not to say it like that you know because of course i see your color of course i know that you're black you know if i had to describe you i would probably say yeah i think they're you know black american or whatever you know the preference is now whatever the case may be because that's still how you identify yourself you know what i'm saying when you do applications they want to know your ethnic they want to know your sex and that's a whole nother topic now because you yeah know, yeah the that's, whole that's transsexual thing it is and it's like you know not to say that of course we want our kids to be aware of people that okay you know he's born a boy but apparently he wants to transition and be a little girl you know but you don't also want to brainwash it that it, it's necessarily okay because it is an alternative lifestyle and even with religion it's taught that it's wrong and you can't say okay well you know let's throw out the religion because even on american money it says in god we trust so we all know it's still a god rather if you think he has eight arms or two arms rather you think he's white you think he's black it's still a creator and, and majority of people look at it as a man and a woman should be together period yeah, that's yeah. how they look at it but but love is love and you know you do yeah. have people that yeah. want to be with the same sex yeah. you know what i'm saying but yeah. hey let's not make spider-man gay now and and batman and you know what i'm saying like now you're fucking up history itself like when has spider-man yeah. been gay if you want to if you want to make a new hero cool that's you know that's gay all right okay but let's not destroy things that you know what we know it as if that makes sense I just think they're doing a little too much, personally. They're, and um, this whole it's cancel basically shit. basically them trying to do stuff, but they're overdoing it. Trying no, it's population stuff. control. Think about it. If we have more people that's homosexual, that's less people having children because we have to go to heterosexual people to get their children. So, in a way, it's population control, to be honest with you. I think about it like that. Absolutely. So that's why they're definitely gonna push that agenda. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Besides, hey, we have COVID-19 that's killing a lot of people because we've had other shit. I don't know why they're trying to blow this shit up. We we had a whole bunch of other shit. What happened? Swine Dude. flu. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, look, look, look. For real question, what do you guys think about Joe Biden? Fuck Joe Biden. That nigga like, don't even eat for breakfast bro, this dude, morning. Trump was throwing on bands. And Trump was giving yeah. he had the hood eating. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Bring, please bring back Trump. Trump gonna throw those bands no, out too. I ain't gonna say, I ain't necessarily gonna root for him or nothing, but but um he did yeah, he so much. Trump it. Trump started a lot of division too as far as racism, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? But That's he won't lie though, like on some real shit though, like the wall I did, I think well, it wasn't even a bad idea. Like he was trying to help us out. You, you like know, he was basically know, saying stop giving up stop giving never the phone all us anymore because of him. But oh, now so it's back because of Well, Joe Biden changed stupid shit and f fucked us over and now they're gonna to try to hurt us again. And all that crazy shit. Gas prices supposedly went up because of the coronavirus. So now oil and gasoline is slower to get now because of the coronavirus. Dude, he's blaming everything on the coronavirus. And the main reason for that is because he's got dementia. If you ever watch or even pay attention with what he's yeah. doing... He'll go from one ch yeah. subject to f not even knowing what the fuck he's talking about, so he just changes it. Oh yeah, well, we fought. So yeah, somebody with dementia Kamala should not Harris be our fucking this, president. Mo even became. He, he recently he had some kind of surgery where he handed, you know, all power to Camilla, and she became the first female president for fucking like, forty-eight no hours, some brief minute, but you know, still. I don't think he's fit to be the president either. I think 
you know, well, she not either. him versus Trump. Trump. I'd rather, I'd rather have Trump, to be honest, which would be if, if I had to pick between the two. Well, and personally, I didn't, I, I didn't think it was a bad idea to shut down the country for a little bit and have no immigrants here because, I mean, you already have American terrorists. So on top of people coming, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if they're dealing with a whole bunch of shit in their country, but we don't need that right now. You know, let's try to fix Americans first because, to be honest with you, I couldn't go to Korea or Japan and open up a fucking store or some shit like how they can come yeah. here and just easily do that. You know what I'm saying? N not only that, just not for to them say, coming you know, here, not, brother, not to money. say knock their hustle. Uh -huh. They don't they don't have to do a damn thing right when they hit right when they come here, bro. They got money. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, and I don't think they have to pay taxes either. I don't think foreigners have to pay taxes, do they? Uh fuck, do they? I don't I don't know that answer. Because a lot of them come over here and work, and they send money back home. That's I have a feeling that's where like they should stop that. Like they're they're getting people from here to get money and then send to over there. Like, come on. I get it. It's your family, but like, why don't they either come here or you just go back home? Or to where you came from, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But honestly, like, with what you said with them coming here, yeah. My opinion, I, 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 I'll say, allow it. But if you're just going to come here to get money and do half, half fast job that you're going to be doing, go back. If you're going to come here... And, and they definitely fucking... need to fucking be able to speak English fluent. Like, a lot of them still have, you know, really poor yeah. Yeah. English. And it's like, you know, I can't even fucking understand you. Like, a lot of times when I have to talk to customer service with some shit, I get so frustrated. Not, not to be racist. I'm not racist at all. But it's you like, go to talk how the and fuck like... do you have a job? You know, you have a job yeah, it's like, before uh, I do. Oh. <laughs> uh... Never mind. <laughs> this is what turns into it. It's like you just want to be like, never mind. I'll I'll figure it out myself. I'll find somebody else to get the answer. I'm just from. saying, help your people first before we start helping other people. You know, that's just like me going outside my house and giving my my money away to homeless people. But you know, my little brother just asked me for five dollars. <laughs> like, let me let me take care of my household first, make sure we're strong, and then I can go out and you know. Be the best yeah. I can be to whoever, because I just feel like you know we we just we're really divided as a country, and, and it's just bad, it's really sad. And to somewhat help with racism, the only way to do that is they make a law, and this will even help population control. Where, in order to have a kid, you would have to get married, and you would have to marry someone outside of your race. <laughs> That would be the only way to really end racism. Because people would be so, you know, mixed up. As far as ethnic, you won't be able to really identify them as this, that, or the third. Everybody will be mixed up. Yeah. Divorce rate won't be as bad. People won't leave their homes. Because I had to marry this person in order to have a kid. People will think about having kids before they fucking have kids. That'll be crazy. <laughs> That's some crazy ass shit, but that would be the only way to help that. That's not gonna work though. Why not? Who on earth, who on earth wanna sign their money away just for a baby? You dumb as a bitch. That's idiot. That's idiot behavior. Like you going to, cause somebody ain't gonna get a divorce, and they gonna be mad as hell that they would get to give all their money or half of their shit just for a baby, and just cause it was law. I swear I don't do that shit. I would, I would, I would never believe in marriage. That shit is a tax scheme. That's just the that's just the marriage part of it. But you still had an interracial child. Well, I'm saying like I'm saying like all right. So if the only way you can have babies is you married, niggas gonna be like I'm not. I'm saying like there's gonna be somebody out there who want a kid. They like damn, ain't doing this. I'm married to her ass. Fuck on, marry her ass. Shit go left. Get a divorce. Now you hurt. You just had a 
can leave, lose a bunch of your financials just because you want a baby. And, and I'm saying, like, I know and somebody so he, out so there. So he didn't end up that. having a kid? No, he did. Like, it's like, it's like, it, it, the rules is like that to where the only way you can have a baby is if you're married. It's going to be somebody who's going to want a baby, but they didn't be like, damn, I got to marry her. So then they married a girl, had a baby and shit. She be cool until shit go left. Then when shit go left and they get a divorce, that's when niggas' financials come into play. And now, it, you would either end up giving them half of your exactly. shit or a percentage of your shit. And now you mad because you did all that for a baby. And it's people, it's going to be somebody who's going to think like that. Somebody is going to, they're not going to be down for marriage or just for marriage. They're going to do it just for the baby. If that was ever a rule, and they're going to be hurt. It's six, but it's like, what, six billion people in the world now? Eight billion people in the world, I think now? Somebody's going to do that. So that means that he won't marry another woman probably, right? Because he'll still be taking care of that no, person, no. right? No, like, no, after, after he divorced her, he probably wanted to, like, get married again after that shit. Because it's, like, all together, it's, like, it's, it's, on his end, it's dumb. Because it's, like, bro, he would have just sat there and married her just to have a baby. And now y'all got divorced because shit didn't work out. And now, financially, you fucked up just because you wanted a baby. And you still stuck That's with child. He probably will stay married to her. That's why they say it's cheaper to keep her. He probably won't divorce her. But he's not gonna fuck with her. Which will still keep that financial stability because he knows if he leaves, he'll have to support two households. His own and own. So he'll think about head. probably marrying. He won't marry again, and he won't have uh, another kid. So that's he's population control right there. Yeah, he, he or he won't have but, a kid. But that's gonna show you. But that's gonna show you though, like. How much of a tax scheme that shit is, which is why I don't believe in it. Like, why the fuck do I have to sign a paper over some love? Are you that fucking dumb? Like, I don't know if niggas realize that shit or not, but that's stupid to me. I was like, you being telling me I got a dead ass sign this paper and give it off to the government to prove that I love you? Get the hell out my face. I ain't never doing that dumb ass shit. I don't care what nobody else thinks either. Well, it's I more stupid than that. In that case, I mean, in I that agree. case, you could say you could say insurance is stupid too, because I'm paying just what if something happens. You know, why the yeah, fuck would I pay you it is a to, to premeditate some shit? <laughs> no, but I mean, but actually, yeah, just I mean, in case I crash into some shit. That's different. To me, that's different because it's like, sometimes, like, you never know what could happen. Like, somebody just hit your shit and you weren't even in your car and now you got to pay for it. It happened to Caitlyn. Her car was parked on her. Like, if she ain't even in the car, somebody tapped her shit in the back and then she had it. But she had insurance, so it was, t it was like, covered. Like, that's, like, that's kind of different, though. But, like, with the whole marriage shit, it's like, nah. Because it's like, after you sign that paper and then you want a divorce, somebody giving up some money. Versus if you well, were to sign that paper, that you got because... about that. You have to look into the technicalities of marriage, okay? So you have to look into health-wise. If something was to happen to you and you don't have any family, she didn't have any family, or someone was not there to make that decision for you, say you're like on life support, your wife will be able to make that decision. If she's your fucking girlfriend, she has no control of your life. So that's why a lot of people also think about marrying someone. And then you have to think about filing taxes you know someone co-signing for you in financial situations it can it's pros and cons to be honest with you you know it is especially when you speak on divorcing and who makes more you know so you'll really think about who the fuck you marry and that's why a lot of people don't get married look at the so the percentage of, of marriage and in the divorce rates and people that you know just not married. It's just it's bullshit that come with it. That's just what taught it. Like nobody can ever come to an agreement. Somebody always want to take all being bitter. Yeah, but it's it's it, it's good things that come with it too. It becomes a part of your network. It, it's I'm gonna say this: marriage is mainly for the rich. To be honest with you, or people really of wealth, it, it, it's more it's more for them. I feel like it was more designed for them. But in a sense too, you have poor people that say you're in a a rough area. You know, you, you live in poverty, but it's a rough area. You know, shit could happen. Okay, let me get life insurance on my husband because the nigga could get shot trying to go to work. You know, and if I'm paying on this, my family will be straight just in case something happens to him. It's about that, too, that stability. What if something happens to me? I don't think that's fair, though. What if something like, happens how you, to like, how you going to put a policy out on my life? Like, what the fuck? Like, you paying on my shit? Yo, everything... That's a great topic. Every You don't think people are worth shit? You got to think about, you know, this whole organ donor 
shit and you know people but killing you know people for their though. organs well like, i'm not gonna sure about... no, go ahead think about simple shit like sperm banks you know they won't even take a man's sperm if he's below five six so just right off of that it's a it's Wait, a for real it's a call yeah, off it. of a man's height yeah so then you go off of yeah. iq that's worth something too then they go off a of gene pool of a baby maybe coming out with like different color eyes and shit like that everything has a price on it people are definitely worth something do not allow someone to tell you that you're not you don't have a price So I come every time they ask my what you worth is based off your net worth, man. Of it's course, based off what you worth. Yeah. Like yeah, Mabry, but... boy, Mabry, maybe gang. Think about even, but like I said, it goes back to even your health. If something happens to you right now, you're what? You're 21 years old. You're what? About 130 pounds. No, I'm nowhere near. I would say no, you don't. Right you now. don't drink. What you like? 100 and what? 15, like one ten. You want? No, last time I went to shit like one, like one hundred eight, some shit like that. Like I lost a lot of weight, but I didn't know it. I used to be like in the one. About. Right, hold on, hold on. I have a question. About five four. All right. Yeah. Probably How five three five two. Five like anywhere from like five two to five three. Like what? Like five two or five three. Okay, never mind. All right, I, I was, I mean, I, the height and weight uh, just got me kind of confused because, like, for me, I'm literally, I'm, I'm five eight and I weigh, like, between one fifty eight to one sixty two. I'm like, I'm not, okay. I'm not, not chubby never. or anything, but like. I don't see how that works with weight, like, uh, well, not weight, but like how tall you are, and I don't like, I don't understand how that shit works. I'm on the mic, bro. I mean, I don't say no retarded shit, or no What's wild up? shit. My sister and somebody else Diane. in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah, because yeah, the mood you was on, it sounded you about to say some wild shit, and I just had to stop you when you was at. Oh. I'm on a game, and like, what the fuck does that, have to do with that mean that game has my undivided attention. I don't have your undivided attention. Was that shot her earlier? No. Hold on. I was just saying. Well, hey, I'm going to go ahead. Last, yes, last I thing I said was, like, how, I don't understand how, like, height and weight, like, really works. Because, like, how, like, the height that you're at and how much you weigh, for me, like, I'm skinny and I'm, uh, I'm five, uh, five foot eight and weigh, like, 158 162 like I, that's where I vary but like that's not much of a difference of height and like that jump of weight like what the fuck like have you ever thought about that yeah like yeah it's, especially uh, because um, I thought about joining the military and um you know certain requirements in order for you to you know join and in a way it's just like you have a person that wants to serve you know their country and you're even judging them off of their ability to do that off of a certain test and I don't feel like that always works One right of the there it judges you here. off of it, yeah. it, so it, it judges you like, off of yeah. your worth you know if you're even worthy to serve your country in a way, just saying. I should just say people who are on death row and sent to the military. At this point, you ask me. 
I said the same fucking thing. Why don't they send those motherfuckers out there? For one, it gives them a chance to, I don't know, redeem yeah, themselves so as a human them, being. Man. Go kill them. Yeah, exactly. Like, go kill right. the enemies. Oh, this some murders. Just let them motherfuckers out. out. That would save us hey, a lot of fucking yeah, money. Think about right, taxes. Man. We're supporting people in jail. We're supporting people on welfare. So to get yeah. rid of some of those people that's already on death row, you know, just put them in the fucking military. Well, I think it's the Constitution that saves people's rights, though. Like, it'd be like, I, I think that's like, what is it called? Uh, Like, you violate somebody's rights. So that's why you probably can't. You're shit. already killing them. They're already on death row. Yeah, You're but, already yeah, but killing these people. Nah, nah, le nah that, legally. So like, that they that's... lost their rights. They lost their rights already. What do you mean? Uh, so why not give them no. a chance? They could survive. They not could really, survive not. in the military. They don't. Yeah, but like, they you ain't really they don't. chilling them until they dead. Like, if you're on death row, he awaiting his death. So like, okay, really so like you rather dead. you rather just sit around and ask for your last meal when you could just fight for your country instead and maybe redeem yourself? So you, you gotta just give redeemed? up already? If you on, if you on death row, that's non redeemable. You out there because what you did. Like, this really is your death sentence, real for real. Like, ain't gonna lie, you probably couldn't survive that shit so how I come back. I don't know, but that's part of that's, that's your actual death penalty. Like, nigga, you going over here and we're gonna put you in the yeah, real but war zone. We, st we, st we still have soldiers that return home, so what do you mean? They ass not returning. Like, I'm talking home. about, like, they don't like they don't have the option to come home. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, they they cannot come home. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by they don't have okay, the option okay, to come so home? No, all right. So yeah. I'm saying, like, if you, if you are, if you, if yo, if you want a death penalty, right? It's like instead of your ass just sitting in there, bro, we might as well send your ass out to the military and you get dropped off from one of the real war zones, like with shit really cracking at, and you cannot come back. It's like, 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 it's like for for real, it can either be an alternative pick, like, like you get the regular death penalty, gen, or you can go ahead and take option B when you get sent out to the military. Like either way, you like it's kind of like a death mission either way, but it's like shit. Why not have them fight for the country though, and just die for the country instead of I mean, just nobody said shit. it wasn't going back and nobody said they won't going back and get them. They can go back and get them. Nobody's saying they just feed them to the wolves. They'll, they'll still nah, they'll but, still perform as you know. You know what I'm saying? US if you got men. death penalty, if you have the death penalty, like your penalty is death, which means they can't come get your ass. So it's like you get dropped off, it don't matter the fuck how people you kill or whatever, bro. Like you gonna stay out there until you die. That's your penalty. Well, they could. Like, they could restructure that. that. They could. They could still restructure that though. I uh, hell so, no. If, 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 so, if, so, if so, with what you're saying, saying if shit, so, I would I would have to say, go with like, what the death penalty is. About or for, like if you get what I mean. So you saying drop them off then? Right, no, 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 look, okay. So the way I, uh, the way it keeps popping in my head is death penalty. You're just you're done. But there's two different kind of death. It's hard to explain two different. But if it's like, if it's something major and like you're. Just, you're fucked. Yeah, I understand. Now, if you did something, but it's not super bad. Like, I mean, it's obviously going to be bad if you're on a fucking death penalty. But if it's not too bad, yeah, go, <laughs> go, like, put them in the military. If they survive, fuck it. Have them put in some kind of shit for a little bit after that. And then yeah. let them try to live the rest they can. And if they fuck up again, then just put them... Like put them back. Don't like just. I agree. I, like I don't. That's that's my opinion. What even brought all this shit up? <laughs> it's just oh yeah, I, I talk a lot shit like that. <laughs> I really be rapping about shit like that. I just be thinking about shit. I can't say anything. The guy that I was just talking to, his name is David. He's got ADHD, bro. He'll talk your fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, if you stop talking and he's still talking, he'll just stop. And he'll, he'll literally wait for you to say something. And if he doesn't, he'll just start keep talking. He'll, he'll just start talking again. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> 
Okay, I understand. I don't give. A, I don't get a break. Fuck. Okay. That's funny as hell, though. He's cool. Uh, tried to get him to uh, play Warzone too. He was like, nah. But the when I first said I was like, you want to play Call of Duty? He was like, uh, sure. I was like, well, let me rephrase that. Since my uncle's about to play Warzone, so he doesn't have multiplayer. He was like, no. I was like, damn. He was like, yeah. the load time is dog shit. I was like, true. Uh, not only that, like, I get it because the loading screen takes forever. And then when you're playing the legit game, it feels like it's like five, ten minutes. Probably less. Yeah. Like, I understand, I understand where yeah. he's coming from. But, like, like for me, the reason my rank is so damn high is when I get into a game, if I do good and I go to the next one, I do good. Like if it just stays good, dude, I'm I'm gonna keep playing. I'm I'm gonna try to get better. But like if I do good and I fuck up, do good, fuck up, then I'm like, all right, well, next fuck up, I'm done. <laughs> and there was one time I was doing that, and it was I was like it was just me and my uncle we were playing. I was back and forth. Oh, this was when um Kingslayer was on. David joined, we fucking, we literally, we got a dub, and literally that's where we ended the night. 